Hello, it's Salimik. In today's video, I will show you how to clean oxygen sensor and what not to do when cleaning oxygen sensor. Keep in mind, oxygen sensor won't get dirty unless you have some serious problem, whether if you have a bad fuel injector, faulty spark plug, or faulty or cracked ignition coil. Oxygen sensor's main job to sense the engine running rich or lean, which means more fuel, less air, or less fuel and more air. So anything related to fuel or ignition, oxygen sensor will read the data and send it to ECM, engine control unit. For removing oxygen sensor, I always like to use WD-40 and let it penetrate for a while and then loosen it up. There is also a special socket for oxygen sensor as well to prevent you from damaging the wire. For cleaning, I have seen so many people using wire brush to clean oxygen sensor. By doing that, you are actually only cleaning the cover. The sensor will be inside the cover. So we need some kind of liquid cleaner to get inside these holes and get in contact with the actual sensor. So carb cleaner is a good cleaner for oxygen sensor cleaning. In my previous video, some of you asked me how ultrasonic cleaner will clean oxygen sensor. So I'm gonna fill my ultrasonic cleaner with gasoline and see how it's gonna clean the oxygen sensor even after cleaning with carb cleaner. Some of you recommended me to keep the object from touching the bottom of ultrasonic cleaner. So I'm gonna hold it like this and let it clean for 5 minutes. Alright, it's been after 5 minutes and there is no major change. But if you look at the bottom of ultrasonic cleaner, we can see some small particles being removed even after cleaning with brush and carb cleaner. And here is the before and after cleaning pictures. Which cleaning process you think is better? When it comes to using anises on oxygen sensor, regular anises will melt and run into the sensor. Whether if it's applied too much or it's not sensor safe anises. So it's recommended to use anises that label sensor safe on oxygen sensor. Hope I covered some of the scenarios and cleaning method. If the video was helpful and learned something new, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.